Hey guys, so in October, Crypt TV saw my Pennywise cake and they wanted to collaborate with me on some creations. So today I'm gonna to be turning some of their characters into cakes. There's a lot of monsters, you guys, so let's get started. So Crypt TV is a website and YouTube channel that creates horror themed short films. Today I'm going to be creating some of their characters and monsters starting with Luxy. And this is one of my favorite characters because I love the design. I'm starting with a red velvet cake and I'm just cutting it out into that basic bay shape. Now this is a red velvet cake which means cream cheese frosting. When I started working on this character, I decided that I wanted to build this like a character and not a cake, which is why I'm starting with the skin tone for the body and, and the bloody red of the inside of his head. He looks so slick in his like suit jacket and his pants. And then like up top, it's like his face is just coming apart. Now the look-see short film is probably the most frustrating for me because the lady who's in the bathtub hiding from look-see is safe right but then she has to look and see if he's there and that's when she meets her demise if that were me that would it would just be like this is where i live now i eat soap i live in the bathtub i'm not going to check if he's out there he's out there but she looked so r.i.p homie it looks good without the paint job but the paint job just sets this off look see season two has already been greenlit so make sure you check out season one now let's move on to stoneheart now for Stoneheart, I'm starting with a vanilla cake that I dyed gray because of stones, you get it? Now this color was kind of funky because it doesn't look like food. Just adding on the icing and the second layer of cake and I'm going to decorate this with a very pale skin tone. And her skin tone is really fair, you know, because she's ancient. And this is probably the most fun for me because I had to kind of decide what elements of the costume I wanted to emphasize. There's so much detail and she's wearing a lot of jewelry so I kind of had to car cartoonify, is that a word? <laughs> All of her different features. And now I'm kind of curious to see if Stoneheart evolves because in the short films we've seen two incarnations of her. I love the detail in her hair and the horns were fun to make because I had to create two different types for the top and the bottom. Yeah, I love the way that the black luster dust looks on the horns and y'all already know that I love gold luster dust and some magic sauce also. Now we're creating the lead character from the short film surrounding the Sunny Family Cult. We're creating Taylor. Now for me, this is one of the scarier short film series on the channel because cults are just too scary. With all the other monsters, they all come from like your imagination. But with the Sunny Family Cult, it's so plausible that something like that actually exists. They're just regular people who are doing crazy things. I could be living next to a cult member and not even know it. Who knows, maybe even I'm in a cult. You don't know, YouTube could just be my day job. And secretly, I could be a cult member. Don't trust anybody, except Oprah. I always trust Oprah. And making the stripes for this was so tedious, but I really liked this sweater. I made sure I got the gray just right. And also this mask is like void of any sort of facial expression. I guess it's like sort of smiling. Oh gosh, it's so creepy. I'm just gonna finish this off with a little bit of black luster dust and of course blood. Of course, she's a cult serial killer, of course. Now season three of the Sunny Family Cult comes out this spring. Next, we're creating Mortio. Now I'm starting with a chocolate cake and I put chocolate morsels in because it's just so good. I love the character design of Mortio because I love the animal skull, but the thing that I really liked about the short film were all the hipster clothes. There's a guy in the woods, he's lying on the floor, Mortio's about to eat him and he's just lying there like in this really nice jacket, this bomb ass plaid shirt and the sunglasses. When I pass, I hope I look that stylish. And I'm using a darker flesh tone because I think it'll look nicer when I start painting on the blood. And I do love me a nice bomber jacket. Somebody stole mine when I left it on the bus and I haven't yet found another one I like. And when I was painting this, the only thing I was really worried about was whether or not it should be that gory or how much blood. I don't know why I like gore so much. <laughs> you look at Callie the Koala and all of the other things I've created on this channel and you would never know. 
Next, we have a fan favorite character, Giggles the Clown. So I'm starting off with a vanilla cake and I'm just gonna add some cream cheese into the middle of it because cream cheese frosting is life. I've said that before, haven't I? Now I'm gonna cover her with a large piece of white fondant. And the most interesting part of this cake for me was creating her skirt. Now the fabric that's used to create her skirt is tulle. And the only way I could really recreate that was by using different colors to simulate the depth of the different types of tulle. Her ponytails are made of fondant and I really like the detail that I'm creating. If I ever do Harley Quinn, it's gonna probably be similar to this. And this smile, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at those teeth. She should be in a Colgate commercial. Look at that crest smile. And then I'm just gonna bloody it up. She's so cute, huh? She's like terrifying, but she's like the most adorable type of terrifying. Her bloody pearly whites are everything. Next, we have my favorite crypt creature, the birch monster. I love this design and it was a little bit harder to make because I had to account for the branches on the head. I just love this character and it makes sense that this is Crypt TV's first breakout monster. Now in the short film, the birch monster is kind of like the fairy godmother-ish that kills your bullies too. <laughs> you know, I love that she towers over all of the other characters in the short film and it's just this sort of grand, majestic creature. Now I was really careful about getting the eyes and the nostrils just right. Ooh, my fondant game was like too strong for these branches. I had to use a lot of fondant to create these branches to go on the top of her head, but I think it looks nice and I wanted to make sure that you got the detail because it's just, it looks like this crown nest. I don't know, it is flipping awesome. And voila, all six of my Crypt Bay Cakes are complete. The more that I look at these cakes, the more that I just want them to be like plush toys or like teddy bears. Wouldn't they be awesome like teddy bears? I think so. I'd buy them except for like the sunny one. That one couldn't stay at the toy store. And I'm curious which one of these characters is your favorite. Are you a horror fan? I'm curious about that too because so many of you are young. <laughs> there are links to all of the characters short films in the description box and everything Crypt TV is linked at the bottom as well. Thank you again to Crypt TV for collaborating with me on these cakes. I love that they asked me to take their characters and then sketch them out and create cakes that are similar to the ones that are already on this channel. It's just drawing. This whole process is like my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Peace!